Hi, Brad, product specialist here at Kinsey, and today we're going to talk about the Model 3505 and kind of walk through its frame, configurations, options, and attachments that are available through Kinsey. We're going to really start at the hitch and kind of work our way backwards through this toolbar and frame design. And uh, as you notice, 3505 is, of course, one of our lift and pivot uh, design model planners, so kind of the little brother of our 3605. This one's available in 8 row 30, 6 row 30, and of course a wide array of split row or fertilizer options, which we'll get to here in a second. Kind of start at the front of the planter and kind of work our way backwards. And of course with 3505, users historically has been on a smaller or less hydraulic capacity style of tractor. Starting at the hitch, as we talk about general hookups, of course we have our standard clevis style hitch or a two point option, if you so choose. Uh, for hydraulic hookups, again, we keep it very simple and very easy uh, to run on really any model or series of tractor. Of course, the model behind me is a bulk fill unit. We'll talk about bulk fill capacities here in a little bit, but it's a bulk fill planner running mechanical meters and of course a ground drive configuration for operating those meters. The nice part about 3505, you get the advantages of bulk fill seed, but you still only need two remotes to run this planter. The nice part about that too, not only does it just two remotes for a bulk fill planter, but the same hydraulic requirement and remote requirement for a standard hopper machine as well. So as part of our 05 series enhancements for all Kinsey planters, we of course have our large, uh, easy to use handles that are on our hydraulic hoses now. And you can see we have our reds, which always, always have historically been our rays. So we have our ray circuit, which is separate. The nice part about the design of the 3505, keeping with that simplicity and low hydraulic requirement, is we are running our bulk fill fan circuit through our lift circuit also. So we kind of get a two for one on the lift circuit. So again, you can still run it with just two remotes and get the advantages of bulk fill. So red in this case is not only raised, but also operates our bulk fill fan as well. Of course, we have our blue labeled or blue coupled hoses for our markers and fold function. And of course, because we are running a fan, we have a case drain return hose. So you do need a case drain return or a zero pressure return on any vacuum or bulk fill unit. We offer both mechanical finger pickup brush meter combination like this one is behind me. We also offer our true rate vacuum meters as well in bulk fill or standard hopper configurations. The only addition to hydraulic requirements would be one more hydraulic remote if you have vacuum meters as an option. So it would require three. If you don't have three on the tractor, we got a good solution for you because we offer an optional PTO pump to run both fan circuits off of the PTO on your tractor. So again, can get you down to two remotes for those older series tractors, or you just want to take that tax off of the tractor and just run it through a PTO pump, we offer that as well. So <clears throat> as we work back to the actual frame, of course, with our lift and pivot design, two toolbar layout gives us a lot of flexibility for options and attachments. And of course, one of the most popular model configurations is the one that's behind me here, the 3505 bulk fill with split row configurations really tying on the innovation and kind of legacy of split rows on a narrow frame lift and pivot style toolbar that gives you great balance. So we have, of course, our rear rows on the rear, our push units on the front, so it's real stable and evenly balanced, not only going down the road, but of course in the field as well. Allows good balance going through the field in hard no-till conditions, so all that weight is evenly spread onto those row units to ensure you're getting uh, good contact and good even weight distribution, especially with, with bulk fill. And of course, by far the best part, easy trash flow. So you're getting a high residue situation with those row units spaced evenly front and back. It allows residue to really just easily flow through the toolbar design. The other nice part, being a lift and pivot machine, you can work and maintenance the row unit obviously at shoulder or chest height. So it's a lot easier to work on, provide maintenance. You can get in and out of the row units very easily with how easily they're spaced, even though it's a narrow row configuration machine. Other options and attachments 
For this style configuration, of course, we have split rows on this one. We, of course, can get liquid or dry fertilizer on this planter as well. Kind of depending on the configuration, if you get standard hoppers, you can get dry fertilizer. When you get to bulk fill, you can just get liquid. Of course, if you have standard hoppers, you can get liquid or dry in the configuration. We offer various attachments for fertilizer. You can get uh, for liquid, standard notched single disc openers, our heavy duty single disc openers, or in furrow drop tubes, if you're applying low rates, actually in the furrow. So several options for liquid. As we transition to the dry fertilizer configuration, you can get notched or heavy duty fertilizer openers that of course attach on that front toolbar. Again, the beauty of a twin line design style frame, you have all of your attachments and extra weight on the front instead of held on the rear or in the center of the planter. So again, provides a real balanced, easy to transport unit going down the road with having that weight spread out across the toolbar. We kind of get back into row unit configuration. We talked about again, this is our 3505 configuration. And not only did we of course just add simple colored couplers on the front, but we really spent some time and upgraded row unit components as well. So it's our evolution series row unit. We've had really great success with it. And we've just kind of added on the success and added more robust components in really high wear areas. And it really starts with the parallel arms themselves. And we've added double bushing parallel arms on all 05 series row units. So what we've done, as you can see, we've added more meat on the outer edges of this style uh, of parallel arm. We've added an insert bushing that's pressed into the arm. And then of course, your standard bushing that goes inside of this. With this style of design, number one, you get a little stronger parallel arm because you have more material on the outside of it. Uh, you also have a 25% increase in wear life or wear area in this bushing in a bushing design. We have doubled the wear life expectancy on parallel arm bushings by going to this design. The other nice part, if you get to a point where you're wearing it out enough that you start to wear into the pressed in bushing, Previously, you had to really just replace the entire arm. Now, all you have to do is press out this inner bushing, put a new bushing in, put a new inner bushing in, and you're ready to go. You don't have to replace the entire arm. So a lot longer service life with this new bushing in a bushing style parallel arm that we've added to the 05 series planner. Some other additions we've made to uh, the row unit, again, going back to those high wear component items is our double disc opener blades. So <clears throat> our true V openers on the row unit uh, are still uh, similar thickness and design, but we've added a double bearing and heavier duty rivets and larger rivets onto the disc opener blade. So again, increasing the life expectancy of the bearing, uh, increasing the robustness of those double disc opener blades to again give you longer life and longer service life out of them as well. And as we transition inside the row unit, <clears throat> of course at the bottom of our shank is our seed tube guard or our inner scraper at the bottom. Kind of another high wear item. It's obviously protecting the seed tube from damage from our double disc openers. We've changed the material of that inner scraper to again give you double the life out of that inner scraper as well. So uh, it looks the same. It's really identical, direct backwards replacement piece, but again, gives you longer service life on that row unit as well. So old five series row units, parallel arm bushing change to a bushing and a bushing design. We've gone to double bearing disc opener blades with larger rivets and really a machine style bearing cage. And then of course, a long life inner scraper. So as we get away from row unit wear components, as we talked about our 05 series upgrades, we kind of get into uh, options and attachments. Uh, this one's got a lot of those options or higher end features on it uh, as a factory order. Of course, for our down pressure solutions, we offer uh, mechanical springs. So our down pressure springs, which of course have four different downforce settings. This one of course is equipped with uh, pneumatic down pressure. So that's an option as well. You can choose which down pressure option you want. If we get into the row unit attachments, of course this on our 
Push unit design, the options and attachments are the same, no matter if it's pull or push unit. Of course, we have our standard no-till Coulter option, and this one, of course, is equipped with our floating style residue wheels, which, of course, include our quick adjust cam, so they're easy to adjust and raise up and out of the way. So, variety of tillage options. We get to the closing wheel solution on the back. This one, of course, is equipped with our uh, spiked style closing wheels, our plastic version of those. And of course, we still offer our cast iron or rubber V closing wheels as well. This has just become a super, super popular option uh, with our spike style option for a variety of conditions and, and better suited items. As we work more into the toolbar uh, design frame, as we talked about earlier, if we had liquid or dry fertilizer, it would all be mounted to the front side of our toolbar. This one being a bulk fill with split rows, of course there's no location or ability to put any sort of fertilizer options on this planter with bulk fill and split rows. You kind of have to pick one or the other. On a bulk fill machine, it would be you know, liquid or split row configuration. But a lot of options on 3505, depending on uh, which configuration and which layout of those attachments. Our bulk fill tanks on this specific planter are 50 bushels total capacity, so two 25 bushel tanks. We've had bulk fill on this model for several years. Again, with our 05 series change is the introduction of our new bulk fill and trainer on the bottom of the, bottom of the bulk fill tank. This new and trainer allows for really a more wide variety of seeds to be able to be planted. So uh, historically, we've only supported corn and soybeans in our bulk fill system. Now we've increased it to corn, soybeans, cotton, a variety of cover crops, wheat, um, sugar beets, milo, sunflowers, a variety of different options uh, that are now available to be planted. And of course, with a variety of discs, depending on meter and uh, disc selection, a lot of crops you can plant with the bulk fill configuration on 3505. Of course, we still have our ground drive transmission, which is really standard on 3505. And of course, our end mount transmissions on the end, which has really been a Kinsey uh, innovation a long time ago. And of course, has stuck with us through uh, all of these over 50 years in the business for quick transmission changes out on the ends, uh, <clears throat> allow for easy population and rate changes as you switch from corn to beans. So real basic, easy to use, simple, uh, but effective planner for that eight and six row market. Again, with split rows and a variety of fertilizer options. Again, unique to 3505, of course, is our lift and pivot design with our stainless steel center post in the middle. Of course, <clears throat> with our lift and pivot design, it allows us to really spread the axle apart of course, we utilize four wheels on the ground for transport. Uh, <clears throat> again, with our narrow transport of just 11 feet, two inches at our widest location uh, and really no electronic components to actually fold the planter. So with mechanical valves, we can, of course, rotate this planter down and, of course, set this planter down to the ground. Again, with the twin line design and the ability to have any sort of extra attachments, whether it be our narrow row configuration or fertilizer attachments. It allows for, again, easy trash flow and easy transition of material from front of the toolbar through the rear of the toolbar. So sticking with the unique frame design of our twin line design planners, our 3505 here, of course, using our stainless steel center post in the middle, again, allows for great balance when going down the road. And of course, our narrow transport of just 11.2 when it's all folded up going down the road allows us to utilize a wide space and really stretched out style axle. And of course, our unique Y hitch to support, again, that variety of attachments, but more importantly, allow residue, trash, and any other items that you may encounter in the field free flow to get through that planter to make sure that you're going to continue to run as you're getting into that high residue, high trash flow situation. Of course, the other benefit, everything is easily accessible to the row units from a maintenance standpoint. It really allows a lot of flexibility of other attachments you might want to install on the planter down the road. We also offer to really increase some liquid capacity would be a rear trailer hitch option, which of course is built in and designed for in the rear of the frame. So those of you guys that are running maybe a higher concentration or need more volume of uh, liquid fertilizer, 
We also offer a rear trailer hitch. And of course, with our twin line design and split row configurations, we do offer even row as well. So a lot of flexibility in 3505, uh, really fit a variety of operations out there in the industry.